This is potassium permanganate right here. Boom, potassium permanganate. Now, potassium permanganate really likes to take people's electrons, just like the oxygen. This right here is liquid glycerin. It has some high energy electrons to be taken. Normally, if we light something on fire, what do you have to do to light that on fire? Give it heat. You need some heat source. Let's see if it lights. Get our potassium permanganate. Let's make a nice big pile here. All right, nice big pile. Has this been heated? Uh, no, it's not heated right now. This is just nice, cold, room temperature, potassium permanganate. Our glycerin, is this heated? No. I'm gonna put it in this little beaker right there. We'll put a nice little glob. You ready? Yeah. Yes. Cold and cold. Oh, it didn't work. Nothing happened. That's too bad. Um, maybe we need to blow on it. Oh, uh, what? Oh, all right. Oh. oh! Now check that out. Two cold things getting extremely hot because the potassium permanganate is taking the electrons from that glycerin to make new compounds. Oh, kind of. Uh, it's a little harder to see. Right when it started, there was some some violet purplish flames. Do you remember what color the potassium was when we did our reactions, when we did the flame lab? It's purple. So the potassium will make the flame here kind of purple. Okay, did you see it there a little bit? I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, it looks like a pink. Yeah, I see it. Let me summarize this reaction. Potassium permanganate reacts with glycerin to produce potassium carbonate, manganese oxide, carbon dioxide, and water. Potassium permanganate reacts with glycerin by taking electrons from the glycerin. The reaction releases a great deal of heat, so it's exothermic. Manganese produces a yellowish-green flame, which I wasn't really looking for, and potassium gets excited in the reaction, producing the nice lilac-pink flame that's sort of purple, but it didn't come through great in the footage. The manganese in potassium permanganate has an oxidation state of positive 7 before the reaction, when it's potassium permanganate, and gets reduced to a state of positive 3 and manganese oxide. The combustion of glycerin produces characteristic gases, carbon dioxide, CO2, and water, H2O, and some solids, potassium carbonate and manganese oxide. When the potassium permanganate runs out, the combustion of glycerin continues at a much lower rate since I added it in excess as it reacts with oxygen in the air. But we can speed up the reaction again by adding more potassium permanganate to the excess glycerin. Well, thanks for watching and stay curious.